G'day everyone. Today I just want to show you how I prettied up the lid of this box. And here it goes. And I've got this. This is, well, it, it, it's a lid for a box that my son made for me. I'll show you the box. He made this and it, it's not dated, but he, there's no date on there. Bugger. I'll have to figure out when he actually did this. He was in high school and now he's a grown man with a family of his own. So this slides in. I won't do it over this, but anyway, you're going to have to trust me. It slides in. And the top of it, I did something to it, and it was looking ugly. That, that was my fault. Nothing to do with, with, with my son. So he's got that. I don't know what the star represented at the time. You know, kids, they go through things. So, yeah, I'm going to fix that. I already got one layer on it. It's MDF. Can you see that? I'm going to zoom it in properly. Um, so, yeah, I am going to do something with this guy. I'm just thinking maybe I should take the sides because I'm going to need that to slide in and out properly. I might just think about doing that. Hmm. Okay. So, I went away for a little bit because I had to think about how to do a geode on here and then I had a look at some um, photos of geodes and then I had a look at some um, should probably put a glove on actually for this hand I, I looked at just a couple of quick videos I just scroll through and um, people do geode sort of themes on on the tumblers but from what I saw um, and through images and stuff, they use the glue to to outline the you know where where the the, the colors going to go, and they're usually using well what I saw they use the um, glitter and not the real gems. So that's interesting, but I don't want to do it that way. So I had. I usually get a pen and paper and uh, I start drawing and trying to figure out like which way it's turning and how it's gonna how, how it's all gonna work out and the physics of it and all that sort of stuff um, so yeah I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna do it but while I'm thinking might as well do this guy so I'm gonna turn it into a geode just because it's on my mind and I know geodes are a little bit overrated now, but they're so damn cool, you know. So, we're going to do it. That's for sure. I've got to leave a little space here, because that's got to slide into those slots. So I've got to be careful with that, but I will paint that dark. So we're going to do a kind of a geode going like that way. And uh, that's what we're going to do. I still got some resin left. Ah, everything is moving. Okay, so I've got that there. Very cool. Very cool. I'm going to put another glove on. Put another glove on. Tell you what, it's cool today. Winter's back. Yesterday was really warm. Spring day. And today is the first day of spring in Australia. And it's cold and raining. So, wow. Yeah, because our yeah, winter was pretty mild. At least here on the coast it was pretty mild all right we got that that's going to sit there like that now we're going to get some uh let's get some gold we're going to get some gold and i am going to pretty much just paint this i'll turn the heater off now gosh i can't uh, 
One minute I'm hot, now I'm cold, and then yeah. So, I'm going to need a little bit of this gold, which I'm going to just put a few drops in there while. Alright, now we're going to just paint, let's say from about there. Because it's got alcohol in it, this gold, that's why it sort of looks... That's why it's it's doing that effect, which is pretty cool. We will cover some of this. across here as well just like that that's pretty cool and I forgot that I used this to stir my resin and that part there is sticky right so that's pretty good so far now let me get some um, I've got a little bit of black here. I'm just going to mix a little bit of it. Not too much, just a tiny little bit. With my resin. Sorry if my hand's in the way. I meant to... Oh my gosh, that just flicks straight onto my shirt, onto my top here. Oh my god. Yep, that top's never going to be the same again. Bloody hell. I do have aprons, I should wear an apron. Alright, so let's stir that in. Yeah, that black's not good. It's not strong enough. Because it's just dry enough. And I don't have a black here. But I've got pitch black, which is a tint. I'm just going to use a tiny little drop of that. That's it. That'll do it. So I don't want it to be quite that black. You know, I just want it to be dark enough. I'm going to need some more resin. Because I've got to worry about the, the ratios. So I'm going to make sure they're right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some along here. And I can always sand back these parts here that are too birds are going to town over there. So this the pitch black Lorez pigment uh, liquid pigment is transparent and it's it's a blue black so it um, is perfect for for geode because geodes the the dark part of the geode is never black black you know so this is perfect and if my edges here look like they're a bit too thick I can always sand them sand them down a bit so they fit in the box so that's fine I'm doing geodes. 
I remember years and years ago when I first started doing resin, um, nobody was doing geodes and I decided I was going to use um, some gems out of my you know, broken necklace and put it in on the, there was this like a round board it was so cool and I didn't even know it was a geode I was just like oh okay this is something interesting and then before you know it geodes were born not not right after that but somebody else thought of it and he just went crazy and everybody was into geodes so cool it just tells you how we all connected Sometimes I'll think of something and I won't do it. I just don't have time or whatever. And then next thing you know, I can see it. Somebody else has done it. And I'm like, wow, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Either I was in their head or they were in my head. Something, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's, it's crazy. But it's also amazing. There we go. So that's looking interesting already, just like that. Uh, originally I wanted to do like an ocean scene on here I might leave that there for my tumbler okay so that's looking pretty cool I'm just gonna give it a little bit of heat actually I'm gonna use my torch that if it's still got any any gas in it yep. that's it just a little bit to bust those bubbles and then alrighty let's go with some gems okay so I've got some turquoise power light here I've got these in the shop as well and rose quartz so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with the, with the turquoise first and then I'm going to do the rose quartz in the middle uh, and then I'm gonna use my glitter this this glitter ultra fine glitter is called crushed ice and it's super fine and super shimmery so that's what I'm gonna use so I'm gonna use my tweezers for this because I want to have oh that's so pretty I want to have a nice outline well I'm gonna try to anyway and we all know how patient I am oh, it doesn't even want to pick it up can't go all the way down there because that's going to be no. It's annoying. What I'm going to do is just do that, and then I'm going to use my stick to move them. That is much easier. If you are patient, go for it. Do whatever you want. I am not. Look, I am really patient for some things. Probably some things that other people are not. I am, and it's really strange, but. That's just how it is. We all different. Some bigger, some smaller. I will arrange them properly. Or as close as possible. And then um, oh, I really need to put some pressure on this guy because it keeps moving. So hold it from underneath. I'm going to speed this bit up. Okay, we did that. Now we're going to get my beautiful rose quartz, also available in the shop. And then that one is just going to go in and be sprinkled nicely over the whole inside. I was just wondering whether I should. Oh, let's just see. Let's just see what, what happens. Just going to go around. If they should all, ah, fall in. There's a little hole there, so they're just falling everywhere. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. So pretty. 
that one fell out just leave it wants to go there I'll let it who am I to decide where these beautiful gems want to fall <laughs> maybe some more a few more to go in here maybe I'll put some in my hand so I can this one make it a bit better Ooh, that was a pretty one jeez louise these are so nice polished beautiful polished gems there you go look at that i oh don't lose any and then i'm going to go with whatever i have left in here which is not a lot and just go over it actually what i might do is let's be cheeky and get some of this glitter in there you have to see that glitter look how super fine that is i don't even know if you can see the the shimmer but down here where the light hits it bloody beautiful all right let's go i'm gonna not use that i'm gonna use my stick and I'm going to scoop up some, a lot, about that much. Put it in there. We're going to need some shimmer. It's always nice in those photos, you know. What I want to do is I want to heat it up a little bit. I'll just use my hair dryer for now because that's what's plugged in on hot. beautiful loosen that up nicely and now we're just going to go and spread this baby everywhere it's already starting to thicken up a little bit but this will glue it nicely in there That loveliness and that glitter this that all that beautiful glitter is just kissing these gems very gently and then when you put the light on it you'll see all this beautiful glitter everywhere so nice I don't have any more resin but I want it to go around the gold as well and just give that a bit of a shimmer I might even be able to do I might even have enough who knows you never know I always say that I always have enough of everything that's my motto I always have enough and when you're not greedy when you're a giving person you'll always have more than enough you know somehow things tend to come back and reward you oh boy I'm stretching it now I am stretching it now. Wow, look at that. I'm going to make it, guys. I'm going to make it and have and have <laughs> extra. Can you even see it? Yeah, well, I think you can see it. That's pretty good. Well, I suppose I could always sprinkle some on top there. I mean, it will stick. That's no problem. But I just like to... I don't know. Just uh, be proactive and use what I have. Give those gems a nice kiss. Nice shimmery kiss. And then I'm going to clean this. Yeah, because the resin's starting to go hard and it's cold in here. 
I've turned that heater off again because it got hot. It's a small room, you see, so it heats up real quick and it cools down real quick too. But it'll be all right. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that. I think I might, might go around with some more. Um, let me just fix that. Something moved here. Oh, because I put that um, glitter, it moved. Oh, don't move, stay there. That blue moved a little bit. It's not like a traditional thing with the blue and that, but I like it. I will go around with a little bit more glitter and just sprinkle. Sh sh sprinkle? Let's sprinkle some of this. I get my little tiny little um, scoop, which is perfect for this. I do have some more in the shop. So if you want to grab them, because I am running out of them. And they they're reusable. I use them. This, they're about that big, but I've, I've sort of cut this down and I use both ends. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yep. Definitely a good idea to add extra because I can really see it now as I'm moving all that beautiful shimmer. How amazing. And to think that I was never a glitter girl before. What has happened to me? It's all your fault. You've done it to me. All your beautiful glittery things that you make. I fell in love with it. <laughs> I just keep going. The problem is you can't stop. You just want to keep going with it, you know. And I could even go out a little bit more, but... I don't think I will. I think we're just going to leave the middle to be really, really nice and shimmery. And in between. You see there's some gaps in between? Right. I reckon that's good. I'll move it. Move these out a bit. Make it bigger. 